violent clashes erupt during anti-lockdown demonstrations in Europe. Anti-riot forces cleared the street of the Hague as the riot erupt. CNN protests in European countries against the new COVID-19 restrictions turned violent over the weekend as cases continue to rise in the continent. Rioting bro broke out at the Hagi on Saturday over the Dutch government's new coronavirus measures. Video from the scene shows riot, riot police deploying water cannons and charging groups of demonstrators. The Netherlands re-entered the three weeks of the partial lockdown last Saturday and is now planning to ban unvaccinated people from entering some venues. Five police officers were injured during the clashes at the Hagi, with one taken to hospital suffering concussion and two suffering hearing damage from loud fireworks, police said in a statement. The group started fires, committed destruction, assaulted motorists, and threw rocks and heavy fireworks at police officers, police said, confirming that 19 arrests are made. They added that one demonstrator threw a stone through the window of the ambulance, which was transporting a patient to the hospital. Thousands of demonstrators attended a largely peaceful march in the capital Amsterdam on Saturday. Dutch public broadcaster NOS also reported the rioting in the town of Ork and cities in southern Limburg province. The protests follow violent clashes on Friday night in the port city of Rotterdam during which police were forced to fire gunshots to disperse the crowd, and 51 people were arrested. Anti-lockdown protesters hold torches in Vienna, Austria, on Saturday. Elsewhere, an estimated 40,000 people on Saturday crowded in the street of Vienna in the country's biggest coronavirus-related protest to date. Police tried to de-escalate the protest and, and when the mood was about to tip, they stopped fining those not wearing face masks, French Agne. Vice President of the Vienna Police said during a press conference on San Sunday, some police officers had unidentified liquid sprayed on them, and the protesters were trying to blind a helicopter with a laser, Igna said. A small number of protesters were extremely prone to violence, Austrian Interior Minister Karl Nehammer said during the press conference, which he associated with the right-wing extremist scene. Austria will reintroduce a nationwide partial lockdown on Monday and make coronavirus vaccinations mandatory from February next year. More than 1,400 police officers were deployed across the country to maintain public order, according to the police statement. Pepper spray was used in one heated protest in central Vienna, the police statement added. French sent dozens of elite police and counter-terrorism officers to each Carib Caribbean island of Guadalupe Saturday following looting and arson overnight in defiance of the overnight curfew. The Icelanders her prefect on Friday introduced the state at home order after protest against the vaccine pass spiraled into violence the previous night. The Interior Ministry said 31 people had been arrested. Around 15,000 people on Saturday protested in Zagreb against the Croatian government's coronavirus measure. From Monday, only people with COVID passport can enter government and public buildings in Croatia.